This is the continuation of the tutorial about how to build a tool to extrude shapes along a path. The first part of this tutorial is in www.macrotutorials.com. If you click on scale, appears this window. This line is to point at the extremes. If you click and keep it pressed in one of this point, and move up or down, the scale of one extreme of the column changes. The same happens, but in the other extreme if you move up or down the other point. Also, you can create all points, for example if you want to modify the scale of the column in the middle. Click on the button of insert corner point, this one. And click over the line that represents the length of the path. Now, click on the button at move control point, that looks like a cross. And move the new point up or down, as you want, to change the scale of the column at that point, in the middle. At the right of the scale button on the command panel, here, is a light bulb. When it has a yellow background means that is in use. Clicking on it, turns off. And the deformation is not applied. See. Clicking again, is turned on and deformed, again. So, I'm going to turn it off, to show you another deformer. Clicking on twist appears this window. As in the previous deformer you can move these points in the extremes, this way. And the object, twist. Well, with the other point, the other extreme also twists. And if you want can include another control point, as I showed you in a scale deformer, clicking here. And, clicking where you want along this line that represents the path. And you can move this point, if click here. And drag this point. Turn off the twist deformer, clicking the light bulb at right. And click on teeter. This works the same way that the others. Just move the points up or down. And this deforms the object, like this. OK. Turn off this modifier, clicking this light bulb. And let's try bevel. Click here. And as always, move these points to modify your object. Or if you want, include your own points and move it. The thing is experiment with it until you get the results you want. Close it. And for this last deformer, I'm going to create a couple of shapes. Okay. Again, select the column. And on the command panel. In the modify tab. Click on fit. This deformer helps us to fit the object inside a specific shape. So, to select the shape, click on the button of get shape, this one. Now, click on the shape. The object don't fit inside the shape. Just click on this buttons here. Rotate 90 degrees in the sense of clockwise or contrary to the sense of clockwise. Now this fits inside the shape. Also, you can select another shape. Clicking on get shape, here. And click on the other shape. And, adjust it clicking on the rotate buttons. Also you can modify these points here. This deforms an extreme of the object. Clicking on this arrows. You can change the extreme where is deformed the object. And, with this other, change the side of the deformation. Well, this is basically the way how you can model objects using the loft tool.